Okay, next activity we are going to look through is more of a theoretical piece. You don't actually have to do anything in this video in terms of, of assignments. However, it's probably in your best interest to take a look at some of these things and seriously consider them. So bear with me, keep plugging through, and uh, take this uh, for what it's worth. The next thing I want to speak to is the extra plugins that I've got running on the site that I find valuable. Now, on our website, I've gone ahead and posted links to some of these plugins and certainly the link to this video is there, etc. But let's take a look at uh, some of the plugins I've got going and what you might uh, want to do with them. The Akismet is a plugin that actually is associated with um, Jetpack. And Akismet um, is basically something that keeps spam and malicious content from getting onto your website. Um, that is something that you have to set up and uh, get going and stuff like that. I don't use it personally because I don't do comments on my blog. I use my WordPress more as a website as opposed to a blogging site. Let's talk about this back WP up. Now there's a couple of different ways that you can back up your WordPress um, pieces, but the thing you need to know about WordPress is that it is not a bunch of little tiny web files as in traditional websites. WordPress sits on top of a SQL or SQL database and it's that database that knows the time, the author, and the content to insert into each and every little page. So if you took a look at your site, the only real pages that are in your site are your media posts. And then if I jump over here to editor, it's all of these little PHP or pre-hypertext processing pages that are actually the things that drive your entire site. That's it. So you could have 10 pages, you could have a thousand pages, and they're all driven by just these pages. But the content is sitting inside this SQL or SQL database. And so it is super important that you understand that when you go to back up your site, you should do something specific to backing up WordPress, right? So if you were to FTP in to your space, and then just copy and paste the files that you see here, that would only basically copy and paste the theme, which you can replicate at any point. The heart and soul of what you want to back up is the actual database. So I've played around with a couple of them. Um, and this is one that I happen to be using currently. Of course, the, uh, the thing is that there's no guarantee on any of this. I will uh, do a full disclaimer in the fact that I've never actually had to restore from this backup yet. So that being said, it is free and it's something that um, works very well with um, da uh, Dropbox, which is what I also use. If you don't have a Dropbox account, you should seriously consider that. That's a freebie uh, at, the, at the low level and it works great uh, for a lot of different things. Um, but in this particular case, it works great for my database backup. So, um, and of course they will sell you the pro version of it. I don't know the differences to them, but certainly you can take a look at that as well. Um, what you can do is of course it, it talks to the idea of, you know, checking the installation, creating the job, running it and checking the job log. Well, I've already gone ahead and created the job and I'm going to go ahead and click on jobs and show that to you. So I have a job called instructional design to, to Dropbox here. And this is what I'm um, running. I'm running uh, a backup of my WordPress and I'm running a uh, backup of the actual database pieces as well as the plugins. Let me go ahead and edit this and show it to you super quick. Um, I've given it a particular name. I can tell it what I want to backup and it's going to give a default name and I'm fine with that. I, I don't usually get involved in changing those kinds of things. Um, I can tell it to back up to a local folder. I can tell it to send it by email. There's multiple services here if you take a look at it, but Dropbox is the one I particularly use. And if you go and play with some other pieces, I'm sure that other um, pieces, uh, other uh, plugins will also do additional services. You've just got to play around with the one that you're happy with, right? Um, 
I have an option to email the log to me. I can save those changes. Let me go up and take a look further. There's a scheduling feature here that I can uh, do a schedule on. Now this one just happens to set up on a link or with what's called um, WordPress Crone and I can set that up uh, to run on a particular schedule but generally speaking I run this manually. Um, I only run it every three to four times that I make massive changes. Uh, the database backup uh, pieces here I'm saying backup everything for me please. Um, and here's uh, the file name that it's going to be backed up to is the SQL file. Here are my extra files uh, and I can go down and determine do I want to back up the themes, do I want to back up the media, do I want to exclude things from the backup, etc. And then finally of course I need to authenticate to my Dropbox um, account. So I would have clicked on reauthenticate uh, to Dropbox and it's going to drop me out to Bo Dropbox. Now I'm already logged in it's going to say, you know, backup would like to access the files. Click on that and click on allow and it's going to come back and say authenticated. And that's all there is to setting this up. So I find this pretty handy. I can now then go to my jobs dashboard over here. And I can just simply hover on it and click on run now. And it will go ahead and uh, run that Dropbox um, backup. And let me just show you by looking into my Dropbox here it's running into a folder called instructional design and you don't see the one I just did but eventually you'll see um, a um, zip folder setting up there we can kinda take a look at the progress setting over here um, and that's it for Dropbox I'm gonna pause for a moment before I go on to the next 